Hey guys, Boom Boys here. Today we are going to do a review on the tripod cooker. This is a Camco tripod cooker, and we're actually got some ducks that we shot. It's duck season here in Oklahoma, and we've got them all wrapped up. We're going to do a demo as well as a review on this Camco tripod cooker. So let's get going. <laughs> Hey, so I'm going to tell you, we've cooked a lot over this out in the outdoors. We do a lot of catch and cook videos where we're cooking, cooking fish. We also cook uh, hamburgers on this. We cook a number of things on this. I and mean, I'll tell you about the things that I really like about this. Now, I know there's other brands out there on Amazon. You can see Sunny Days. You can see a Stan Sport. But this is a Camco. You can get it for about $20. So now it's going to come separated. So you're going to see kind of this stretchy material here. I'm assuming, I've had this I think over a couple years now, but I'm sure this will wear over time, but honestly, it's not huge because once it's in, it's gonna stay there, okay? One thing I really, really like about these tripod cookers is that no matter where you put this, this usually finds it, it gets level on its own, okay? Now, some brands will have a little hook here that you stick the chain into, and I don't really like that. One thing I really like about how easy this is to go down, okay? And also go up, depending on how hot the fire is down here below where you're gonna go cook. So if you just put if you just put sticks on it, you may wanna raise it up so you don't burn your meat. But then as it get coals, you may wanna put it down. Just like this, it's as easy as that. Now, when this is cooking, this can get a little bit warm, but most of the time not. You can, unless your fire is huge, for the most part, just with your bare hand, you can push it down. Now, when it does get a little bit of a weight on it from the food being on it, right, it's harder to push down that you're gonna have to actually, you know, maybe grab the chain with your hand here. But I wanna tell you guys, this is so portable. I just take it like this and throw it like this and just throw it in the back of the gator or the truck. And then for setup, I mean, it's as easy as just going like this, right? So, this actually comes off like that. So if you wanted to take it off and this, but this actually even break down, I'll show you how easy it breaks down. It's just like breaking down a tent. You just go like this, like this, like this. Let's say you're in a camper and you need space, boom. And it, it can actually break down again because it's in three different sections. So it breaks down here, here, and here. So super easy to put back together, simple as that and that and then there you have it and once you have this you've got your hook just like that and it is somewhat adjustable but for the most part here you go right here and just set it right on top of it and it will take some weight i mean this this is pretty sturdy we put a lot of weight on this i'm probably putting quite a bit of weight and it's pretty sturdy so in this ground that we're on it's not super flat but here we are so we're going to go ahead and cook this duck over it we're going to build a dakota fire pit we actually did a video of that really really cool video it's probably the best way to cook in the outdoors in my opinion and i'll put a link in the description below of how to build that we're going to go ahead and build a dakota fire pit here and then we're going to put this duck meat on it so let's get going Oh, there it is. Oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> you threw it. That's how you start fire quickly. Yep. Just a spark. So once you get the fire going, literally you just take your tripod here and just lay it right over the fire. And I'll show you guys here exactly how you do it. So what you're gonna do is, it's not right over, right directly over the fire. All you do is, is take these right here and just slowly move them back. And you can see, this is always gonna hang. This chain's always gonna hang straight up and straight down. And it's gonna level it out down there. But this is about the right spot. And if you wanna lower it, this is as low as it will go to the ground where we're currently at. If you wanna lower it a little bit, just spread these out like that. And then you can get nearly almost on the ground there. So I'm gonna let this, burn all the old stuff off this grill. And then after that, we'll put the ducks on them. All you do to raise this up out of the fire is just pull, just kind of pull this down like this. So we're gonna go ahead, put it up pretty high. When I put it, put on the ducks. That does look good. 
one kind of trick is you don't want to overload one side or it could kind of tilt a little bit. So I like to put evenly kind of distribute them out on this so it doesn't tip over. But as far as ease of use and the portability of this thing, I mean, this thing is, is really cool. Now, I've told a lot of positive about this, but I'm, I'm about to tell you kind of a negative about it. It's not a huge negative because not every place is as windy as it is in Oklahoma. <laughs> but when the wind picks up, as you can see, as I'm putting on this, as the wind picks up, it can move this thing like this a little bit. So if you're, again, in Oklahoma, where we're lucky if the wind doesn't blow, you know, below 10 miles an hour, it's an issue. But again, today the wind's probably blowing 10 to 15. We're a little bit behind some trees, but here we go. We're gonna go ahead and stack this thing, thing full because I think I got some hungry boys here. A second negative thing besides it swaying is this, but this is something that can be fixed. Right here, if you can see really close, they're like little J's. If they get too open like this one, it can get stuck. So you wanna make sure most of them are closed, but from the factory, some of them are open. This is how it's been from the open, right? And it gets stuck going down sometimes. So just something that you can just crimp it with a pliers and move on. But again, if you wanna see me adjust this, because I kinda of wanna, so the wind's blowing really hard, you can see the fire blowing that way, I can just adjust these legs to get that where I need to be. Kind of like I mentioned before, it kind of angled, as you can see, it's a little bit tilted. Just take these and kind of distribute them around where it's sitting a little bit more even. And there we go. We're gonna simmer these up, guys. And I'm gonna kind of adjust it a little bit. It's a beautiful thing about this. It's how you can, how easy you can adjust it away from the fire, depending on if you just put fire in there and the, on your fire pit, man, you can just raise it up a little bit. If you want it smoked, if you're not gonna eat these for an hour or two, man, you can raise this up and just let that smoke simmer these suckers. So we're gonna go ahead and cook these up and enjoy them. how you smoke them. Well, that'd be a slow way, but I guess you're right. This would be a, this would be Goliath's cigarette. <laughs> All right, guys, there you have it, the review on the Camco tripod cooker. As you can see here, we're gonna take one of these awesome pieces of duck meat wrapped in cream cheese and onions and peppers and, and of course bacon. But as you can tell, this thing's really awesome. If you don't have one of these for 20 bucks, I would highly encourage you guys, add this to your camper, to the back of your truck, to your gator, whatever, when you go out here so you have it, super easy to camp over so versatile you can cook just about anything on top of it you could put cast iron skillets on top of it and you can we put whole fish on top of it you can do just about anything with this and as soon as you're done with it if you want it off the fire one hand pull lift up there you go you can keep it warm but anyways guys hope you like this review please consider if this helped you out consider subscribing to the boom boys that would help me and my boys out and would let us know that we're doing a decent job and keep us motivated to produce some more videos. But anyways, guys, 
We appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you next time.